This is Prometheus Gauntlet. Here is the J Era Essex archive I promised you guys. Please note that the video file date is the date of the video was saved to compact disk in my personal archive. Uh, the original video date and video description were not saved in the archive. Uh, also, any advertising or contact information in the following video may no longer be valid. Jay's current website uh, is the spiritualfoundation.com. Any personal slanderous remarks of certain individuals uh, have been removed from this video to respect their privacy and not conflict with any YouTube regulations or policies. And I'd like to thank you all for watching and you have a good journey through your existence here, through your life. And I love you all. Take care. Hey folks, how you doing? It's Joe over here. Yo. This is just for the website. I'll probably put it on YouTube too though. I just want to talk about a couple different types of star essenite. This big beautiful piece here is called blackened star essenite. It's got some beautiful, oh it's got a little ant. It's got uh, some beautiful pieces of mica and stuff in there. Uh, it's very high crystalline, as you can hopefully see. It's very strong. It's, it's got some clarity to it, but it's very strong energy. Um, it literally moves through you in different directions, uh, very strong. Uh, it, it shakes up your energy inside you while it's increasing the size, uh, increasing the uh, power level of it. And this is what that looks like. Good stuff. Now this is a huge piece. Um, it's very nice stone. Very strong. This is the stone also that sometimes when people have, uh, I guess, uh, severe cases of ADHD and stuff like that, I, I don't have all the uh, <laughs> letters right for that. But when they have problems focusing, uh, sometimes they actually touch a piece of this or get real close to it when it's this big. And it feeds their body energy. It makes them grab it and then start to focus it, and then helps them focus their energy. See, uh, uh, people with ADHD and, and that type of thing, when they're born, they're very strong. However, they're used to their energy flowing a different way outside of the body, and then when they go in the body, it's literally normal for them to feel like that, but it makes it hard for them to, well, to communicate, do all kinds of things here. So, because they're used to their energy being like that, they don't really do anything about it. Now, when they, a lot of them, when they hold a stone, then all of a sudden the stone cranks them up harder and it throws their energy around even more and that makes them consciously aggressively focus on that energy going through their body recalibrate it take it and straighten it out to, to where it flows normally and then next thing you know they're fine now the, you let go of the rock then you know it's the same same way it used to be it's not like a permanent cure but it can help Another type of, st of uh, <clears throat> star essenite. This is called snow leopard star essenite. This is white granite. And the little black stuff in here, don't know if it's uh, different parts of mica, whatever. I've never had it totally examined. I see things as energy and I talk about them as energy, okay? You can call this rock whatever you want. Dalmatian rock, uh, white rock with black spots. It doesn't matter. It's the energy that we're really concerned with. Uh, call it your own personal name, that's fine. This is Bob, um, it's all good. Uh, here's another piece. Each piece is different, okay? Every stone is a little bit different. It has different character, different frequencies, uh, but it's very similar. What this stone does, it's almost as if the white part of it is literally like a sheet of paper and the black stuff represents miscellaneous baloney stuff that's MBS um, it literally helps you pick out the truth of things plus being granite it gives you good strength 
and being a white granite, it's like a, a clean sheet for you. It, it helps you get a new thought process. So that's one of the abilities of this stone. Okay, this is a very unique, very rare stone. I call it Moonstone Snow Leopard Star Essenite. Some people call it pink Snow Leopard Star Essenite. This pink color here, that's Moonstone. That's literally Moonstone. The silver in it is usually silver pyrite or something of that sort, that silver color. This has a little bit of crystal in it. Uh, it does have granite in it. Um, it's, it's a very nice stone. It's compassionate, new beginnings, move you forward, um, strength. And also, it's not just a little bit of fortitude, strength for your body. It's also strength of, uh, well, of compassion, of your heart's ability to have compassion. Sometimes it's just what you need to get over the edge, but like I said, there's almost none of it. I don't like selling it at all. This piece is a very special piece. It's uh, part of my own personal. Now, this is a beautiful stone. The inside of this stone is loaded with quartz. The outside covering it looks like a snow flurry, like a little blizzard. Uh, that word was blizzard. I, I think I ate half of it. Um, some people feel it, and they actually get a feeling like of menthol coolness, that kind of thing. Uh, when you put a flashlight underneath it, you can see the crystal in it. It's, it gives you clarity, but it softens your mind. Sometimes when you're really working out your brain hard, your pineal, your crown, hypothalamus, when you've really been doing a hard workout, you hold this and it can help you just relax. It can also really help you see things when you're having a tough day. It calms you down, helps you relax, and then see what you need to see. So that's why I call it Snow Flurry Star Essenite. But it is Star Essenite. It's got star in it, it's got Gaia from the planet here, and it's got uh, uh, Essenite. Uh, it's uh, part of the first planet uh, created, uh, her energy being called Gaira. This little puppy is Dragonstone. Uh, I'm, excuse me, it's a uh, um, Dragon Egg Star Essenite. It's uh, as far as the uh, Star Essenite family goes, it's the dragon. Uh, it's mostly star. When I have to really force my crown open when I'm fighting other stuff on the other side, like when I was fighting my family, uh, this is what I would use. To hold on to and to really crank my head up hard. Now, just some other stone. Well, some other stones I want to talk about. This is essenite. The, I, I've called this thing meaty essenite, all kinds of stuff. But if you look at it, it's actually got it. it it's actually got bone and blood, flesh inside it. That's part of what it is. One point three four plus billion years old that's when this stone came here a lot of people call it uh, uh, cracked quartz or something like that some other stuff uh, uh, flash quartz um, you see the way it's it's made with all these little crevices in it it's like pressure and heat just forming it um, that's why that's, it's People have said it's part of the dinosaur killer that came here. Actually, the, uh, the reptilian dinosaurs have been killed off a few times. Um, now, just honorable mention here, important stones. This is selenite, okay? This is a salt. Please don't get it wet. Please don't wash it uh, to, you know, to clean it. Just get a dry rag and rub it. Uh, this is very high vibration. It's very good for the crown. I add this with other stones to get different effects. When I needed to, I would take selenite, some dragon egg star essenite, and a piece of star essenite, whether it's blackened or whatever blackened is fine, and I put the three of them together, get my fingertips holding all three of them. And that would really power up my crown. I'm going to talk about that in other videos, but this is stuff I just want 
for general information for you all to have. Now this is also some raw yellow aventurine. It's a beautiful stone and it's very good for the solar plexus for your gut feeling about things. Uh, energy for that, animal energy for that is usually associated with uh, wolf and sometimes bear. This is orange calcite. Orange calcite is very nice. Orange calcite is relaxing. It's almost like biting into an orange and having a happy day. It's really nice. Now, this is the inside of a piece of dragon egg star essonite. Okay? That's, that's what it looks like on the inside. Now, these little stones here, these last ones to look at, I need to repolish them. I carry them around so much. I saw a hawk making noise in the background. This is Numite. N-U-U, -U, uh, I guess M-I-T-E. I've seen it with one M and two M's, but it's Numite. N-U-U, Mite. This is one of the oldest stones around. Uh, it comes from, I believe, Iceland and uh, Greenland, right around that area. Very old, very beautiful. This stone is awesome. This stone literally takes your energy in the very top of you and just floats it downward like that. It helps you relax. It's incredible. So anyway, I wanted to touch base with uh, some of the star resonite uh, as well as a few other uh, uh, stones that are really good for you. Oh, by the way, th th this uh, red essonite, the meaty red essonite, this literally is when you hold it with the fingertips of both hands, that's the way to get the power out of any stone, uh, the quickest, the most completely, and a full, uh, the hardest impact, uh, more full impact. It's like welding a piece of your heart back, okay? Very, very strong stuff, especially with people heart chakra. So anyway, like I was saying though, any stone, if you hold it with your fingertips, that's where you get maximum impact, okay? That's how you get the maximum effect. I don't care if you had this thing surgically inserted in your head, okay, if you wanted to go to your pineal. If you hold it with your fingertips, that's where you get the max effect, okay? Do whatever you want to do, folks. Love you. But you know what? This is the way to grab the energy out of a stone. Try it the way you feel it, like left hand receiving, right hand giving, uh, right hand, uh, whatever. And now, if you use both hands and you jumble it around like that, of course, you're not going to get the full impact. It's a matter of just sitting and relaxing with it for a few seconds. Breathe deep in and out a few times. I don't mean hard deep, I mean just relaxed, slightly deep breaths. And then just invite it to come in you, because it'll, it'll already be in there. Okay. Well, folks, thanks for your time. Uh, love you. Y'all take care, man. Have a good one.